Precision Opinions Live with Christian Stella, and I'm here today with Nicole Yupis, and um, she's actually a PharmD candidate 2021. She's at Rain Dew Pharmacy and Walgreens, and today she's on. We're going to discuss CBD. The topic is broad, obviously. It's major. It's very hot right now. You see it in the news. Every single gas station that you go into, any single pharmacy that you go into, they have CBD on the shelves. And a lot of people are taking it. But what they don't know and what they don't understand is that there's so many different drug interactions that you could see with CBD. Um, So what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss that. And first... We're going to dive into that by kind of explaining the mechanism and how it works. And then we'll, we'll dive into the mechanism, the, the, we'll dive into the drug interactions and go from there. So explain the mechanism a little bit. How does it work exactly? Yeah. So CBD is really interesting because it's a natural compound. So it gets synthesized from the cannabis plant. And a lot of times with that, they can also synthesize THC. Now, CBD and THC, they work differently in the body. So your THC is what uh, works on the cannabinoid receptors. So they have CB1, CB2, CB1 is mostly in the brain and the central nervous system. And then we have CB2, which is more found in your immune system. What's so great about CBD is it actually doesn't work on these receptors. Instead, what it does is our bodies are naturally already producing cannabinoids. We have an endocannabinoid system in our body, and what we do with CBD is it enhances these endocannabinoids. What they do is they help synthesize it, they prevent the breakdown of it, they're helping stimulate these endocannabinoids, and that's great because it has an amazing therapeutic profile. What it does is it helps regulate your immune system, your mood, your energy levels, your intestines. It has all these great functions. So the CBD is helping maintain that balance and maintain that homeostasis in the body. Exactly. So CBD actually puts this endocannabinoid system on, turns it on, and it, it, can, re- it can regulate all um, your neuroreceptors, your, um, your GABA, your glutamate, and it could it can move these around. It can go, uh, you can go up, it can calm it. So it is very well diverse. Now, let's explain. Now that we got the mechanism down, what about the drug interactions? So there's one topic that um, CBD is, is, can relate to um, cytochrome P450, which is the way it's broken down um, by the liver. So explain that, how it works, and that's the broad range of the mechanism. So once we understand that, we can move on. Yeah, absolutely. So cytochrome P450 is basically just a family of liver enzymes. And what they do is that when the drug is introduced into the body, they help break down that drug and help eliminate it from the body. Now, the problem is that when a medication or a compound such as CBD interact with cytochrome P450, what it can do is it can either slow down or it can speed up that metabolism, which can you know cause the drug to either leave the body way too quickly or it can cause the drug to build up and you get too much of the drug. So that is you know in hand what our drug drug interaction essentially is. Would be yeah. So with potent drugs, so drugs that affect your heart or affect your blood, we don't want those building up in the system. We also don't want to eradicate that because we're trying to treat a condition. If we're trying to treat a condition and we need that medication and it gets excreted by the liver, the patient's not going to do so good. So we need 100% of that drug to be working and it to be excreted. Um, So what are some of these drugs that we're looking out for that are bad that CBD interacts with? So the most common, so with cytochrome P450, there's, you know, multiple. And we talk about, I don't want to interrupt you, but we talk about the grapefruit juice. Yes. Which is kind of correlated, right? Yeah, absolutely. So with cytochrome P450, there's a bunch of different isolates of it. So they have CYP3A4, CYP1A2, CYPD6. There's so many of them. And 
The one thing about CBD is that it interacts with almost all of them. So the biggest one is CYP3A4. And a big thing to know about that is grapefruit juice. So a lot of people, when they go to the pharmacy and they pick up their medication and they have that label that says, caution, don't drink with grapefruit juice, that's because grapefruit juice is a CYP3A4 inhibitor and it can, you know, cause the medication to build up in the body. So that's why you're not supposed to take it. So a big thing about CBD is that it works the same way that grapefruit juice would work. It's a CYP3A4 inhibitor. So all the medications that one would avoid with grapefruit juice, you should avoid with CBD as well. You know, things like statins, atorvastatin, that's a really big Which one. Which is, it's that's a major Con- count- consultation point when you walk into a pharmacy everything is don't drink grapefruit juice but when you get cbd they can just walk in and take it that's right. why it's strange but continue yeah I mean, people don't think about that they just go and they pick it up and they don't know anything about it and another you know really big class of medications that people don't know about are um, blood thinners uh, one of them especially warfarin what can happen is cbd can actually cause an increase in the warfarin in the body, which can essentially make you bleed a lot more. And that's a real real dangerous thing. Terrible. Um, Another class is seizure medications. I know with CBD, because it's a CYP3A4 inhibitor and a lot of, you know, seizure medications are CYP3A4 prone to that. What happens is they can cause the seizure threshold to either increase or decrease. And people might actually be more inclined to have a seizure which is really dangerous which is well. crazy because CBD is used it's approved by the FDA for seizures yeah. which I think that's the, the craziest part absolutely what about sedation I know that there's some that that can affect sedation yeah so also with CBD it can affect benzodiazepines so you know something like clonazepam alprazolam that's another big one that gets affected by CYP3A4 you know they can actually interact with that and cause someone to be excessively sedated so and they don't know about that it's, it's very dangerous yeah no no one would know i mean usually when you go to a pharmacy when you have a statin it will print out on a sheet a sheet will print out with the medication label and you hand it to the, the patient it says don't drink grapefruit juice but with cbd there's nothing you just go to a gas station you buy it and it could be very dangerous right so we're just looking out for everyone, trying to make sure that everyone stays as safe as possible. And talk to your pharmacist, talk to your physician, be open with them, tell them you are taking CBD, because they're going to know some of those interactions. And there's a lot of them, they can always run a report. Obviously, you know that. Yeah. In, uh, in drug drug interactions. Of course. Um, so w- this is actually CBD is something we can compound as well. So we can make certain preparations. So I know there's availability of trochees and and can you go into that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So CBD is something that can be compounded in a pharmacy lab. There are different formulations. We have oral capsules, even though those are available over the counter, it is something that can also be compounded and they can come in different strengths, strengths like 25, 50 and 100 milligrams. They can also be compounded into sublingual uh, trochees, so it can dissolve in the mouth. And then they also have um, creams, so you can compound it into a cream, and you can as well compound it with other medications within that cream. So things like diclofenac or lidocaine, so people that, you know, are experiencing a lot of pain and they need a topical formulation, it's really great because you can compound it with other you know, medications. Of course. And then they also have, you know, it can be compounded with melatonin as a rectal suppository, which is really great, you know, for people who are having a hard time sleeping and they're not able to swallow capsules or they need, you know, something that is an easier administration for them. So it's really great. There, I mean, CBD is available as a sublingual dropper or a capsule gummies, but there's... There's not a lot of synergistic abilities when you're just using CBD alone. So using it in combination with diclofenac is it's great because you have a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory and a natural product that's working with your endocannabinoid system. So it's nice. But um, I want to thank you for coming on. Fantastic. Um, I appreciate all your hard work and and your talents and you're going to be a fantastic pharmacist i know that all right thank Thank you for having me (laughs) anytime
Hello, this is Christian Stella from Precision Opinions Live. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our social media links. You can reach us by email at compounding at precisionpharmacy.net or our phone number 516-785-4774, extension 2 for compounding. Thank you very much. Thanks for viewing.